Louis C. the mayor checking in what is going on, my peeps. Listen, it's an honor and a pleasure today to have on the show my man Candy Man, all the way from Cuba, 90 miles from Cuba. And we're here in Key West, right here in St. Carlos Institute. Candy Man, bienvenido. Hablo de la gente, saludo de la gente. Saludo para la audiencia, saludo para la gente fanática del género de la música urbana. Aquí tengo Mr. Tito, Tito, talk to him. Hi, everybody. It's my pleasure to be here representing Candyman with the Louis C. Rock Mayor here in Key West. It's my honor to be here. Well, thank you all for coming. We had a show last night. Everything was love. Over at the Club 504, Candyman is a real talent. So some of y'all don't have any idea who Candyman is. You'll find out today. So Candyman, how did you get started in the music business? Él dice eh, cómo empezaste en, la, en el mundo de, de música. Bueno, yo eh, comencé esto desde niño porque me crié escuchando la música reggae, porque soy de la costa sur de Santiago de Cuba. Eh, estamos, somos prácticamente, hacemos un paralelo con Jamaica, con Dominicana, Martín, todas las islas del Caribe y me crié con la música caribeña. Okay. Y eso es lo que yo siento, lo que me sale. Yo parto del reggae para hacer todo lo demás. So, a little short translation. So, I basically grew up on uh, reggae music because from where he grew up in Cuba and Santiago, uh, small town over there, uh, they're basically just a couple miles from Cuba. I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, from Jamaica to Cuba. So, he grew up listening to that vibe, and that's how he got started in his work, in his music. So Candyman, I understand that you were a revolutionary against the Cuban government and you're very outspoken. And um, how are things in Cuba and what do we need to do to, to help the, the Cuban people to you know, be finally free from communism? He says that he understands that you are against the government of Cuba and what you would do to change that situation que qué haría tú con la gente que, 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 que pueden hacer para ayudarte con tu lucha con lo que tú representas eh, es complicada la pregunta porque seguir mi lucha hay que estar dispuesto a perderlo todo uh, y yo desde que tengo uso de razón musicalmente es complicado es complicado for for that question because it's it's a matter of uh, principle but also he could lose everything, which in turn he's already paying for his fight against communism in Cuba. Eh, un pueblo cubano está muy confundido. Yeah. Los de aquí y los de allá. The Por... people, the people in uh, Cuba is confused. Not only the people over there, but the Cubans that are over here also. Entonces. Eh... La misión mía es despertar conciencia, aunque sea un artista de música urbana que sea para entretener. Pero también tengo una responsabilidad con, con el pueblo porque lo está sufriendo mi familia y lo están sufriendo muchas familias. No lo pienso por mí. Y hoy en día la juventud cubana que emigró hacia los Estados Unidos los tienen aquí, los que manejan la música entretenido para que se olviden del sufrimiento de su pueblo y se ocupen nada más de la música de entretenimiento sin ningún tipo de conciencia, sin ningún tipo de, 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 de sensibilidad hacia el futuro que nos depara el comunismo en Cuba, que lo sufre nuestra familia. So he's, he just wants to create awareness and, and try to create unity, but um, he's trying, he feels like he's in a, a fight alone, which we know sometimes uh, we have more people, but we need to be more united in what he's trying to do for the for the freedom of Cuba. Absolutely. I want to thank Rafael San Carlos Institute, Duval Street in Key West for allowing us to be here today. Uh, all love here and you know, Cuba's in a fight. I'm Cuban myself, uh, parents from Pinar del Rio and you know the situation has, has been bad and continues to you know be extremely uh, you know, tough. So, Candyman, I understand that you still have a lot of people in your family that is down there in, uh, in Cuba. Who would you like to give a shout out here? Because, you know, in, in Cuba, I believe we still get the YouTube, so we want to.
want you to give your people a shout out there and uh, boost uh, the morale there. Él dice que él sabe a lo mejor que tiene familia que todavía está en Cuba y puede usar este show para mandarle saludos porque en el, en aquí en el show de él lo puede ver en YouTube. Eh, si no que si le puedo comentar, repíteme la pregunta. Comentar a tu familia sí. o personas. Un saludo. Que... Toda mi familia, mi familia de Cuba, todas mis amistades, todo el mundo Ay, de, de mi barrio sabe que yo, <risa> todo el que me conoce a mí en lo personal, yo soy fundador de este movimiento en Cuba, soy el pionero del reggaetón en Cuba. Y todo, yo tengo 46 años. Y no hay cubano que no, no se acuerde de que existe un gran... Tú tienes 4 o 6. Sí. 4 o 6. Lo que tú parece lo más que tienes 3 3. Mm. Bueno, eh, tengo un sistema de vida eh, que me cuido, me cuido. Entonces yo, eh, ese tiro me dijo que uh, tú haces uh, Kung Fu, ¿te gusta el Kung Fu? Mm, sí, desde niño, yo fui gimnasta. Okay. Mi mamá licenciada de cultura física me sembró, o sea, y eso es el deporte. So, Mr. Tito, if I hear it correctly, did this gentleman say he is the original of the reggaeton movement, period, across worldwide? Candyman was one of the founders of reggaeton because of his background growing up listening to reggae in his country. And he grew up on ragamuffin, okay. uh, reggae, okay. dancehall, all those combining together to his music that he has talent and love for today. Okay. Ask him what his favorite artists of the reggaeton. Uh, sorry for the reggae movement. What are some of his favorite artists for reggae? El licencia tu tiene quién son sus favoritos artistas de reggae? No tengo artistas favoritos del reggae. Yo me crié escuchando a todos desde desde Alfa Blondie hasta Eddie Grant, desde desde Bon Tequila hasta hasta Carlton con Silla Calanche, desde Bob Marley hasta hasta. Sí, sí, la lista. Todo me han enseñado. So now uh, we're going to give a shout out to the people in the MIA 305 watching worldwide. If you're watching right now, first of all, hit the subscribe button right over here. Boop, boop, boop. Hit the subscribe button. And we're going to talk about uh, Candyman is going to be coming to a city near you, performing. Uh, Tito, I would like to uh, for you to tell these people, if you want to book Candyman, the original reggae tone artist straight out of Cuba, a full-fledged revolutionary like Tupac. How do they uh, contact you to give the information? Right, how do you get in contact with us to uh, book Candyman? The number is 305-896-1393. And you ask for DJ Tito, or just Tito, and uh, we'll get you to where you want to go, or uh, get candy to your special event. What's the phone number? It's uh, 305-896-1393. So, Mr. Candyman, what kind of projects are you working on now? In your music. ¿Qué proyecto que tú estás trabajando ahora en tu música? Eh, mira, es complicado porque para mí explicarlo como cubano es un poco complicado. Es complicado explicarlo. Porque yo represento una cultura musical que en el oriente de Cuba, al estar paralelo con Dominicana y Jamaica, tenemos, tendemos, tenemos una tendencia a lo, con lo que nos criamos. Y en la parte occidental del país se promueve otro tipo de música, que no es lo que los cubanos quieren mostrar, porque eh, en, en lo, que la, 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 lo que es la competencia musical, lo que es la promoción musical aquí en los Estados Unidos de América, de los cubanos para el mundo, lo que se vende en él, lo que hacen la nueva generación. ¿Me entiendes? Pero la música que nosotros hacemos viene ya de otras raíces más profundas y no se promueve. Hoy no le importa promoverlo por el grado de contenido, porque la música jamaicana tiene un contenido muy variado, ya sea según el género o la vibración musical que toques. Así es, el reggae music, el reggae es, para, es una música de vibración, una música de amor, una música de mensaje. Y el mensaje no es lo que quieren aquí en lo que es la competencia de Miami, porque el cantante de reggae tiene mucho mensaje. ¿Entiendes? Pero lo, y, yo, lo que yo quiero. Saben, claro, eh, tú todavía estás haciendo música. Siempre, ¿no? siempre. Entonces, siempre yo te estoy viendo en el, el, el social media. Porque yo estoy watching him en el social media. Y yo sé que es social. Él puts out music almost on a daily basis. 
So, what you know, some projects I see, you know, different songs that are going out there. So I want the people to be able to find him, you know, and see what the new stuff he's working on. So where exactly do they go on all social media platforms to find him? Is that under the Candyman brand? Under the Candyman brand, uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, even to Facebook. Facebook. And you could see his work because he's always on there every night talking about his fight for Cuba, talking about his music and what the difference of his music compared to some of the artists that is in a small group in Miami that don't really uh, go nowhere. It's, it's, they're just local. And he, Candyman's music is it's more with message. Uh, you could understand, you could feel it, you could dance to it, and even if you don't understand it. But his music is there, just like so original, would, original. original reggae. Everybody loves reggae, and this is what Candyman brings to you, a little modified. Yes. No, yo no soy lo que Cuba vende de los artistas de la música urbana. He's not. He's not what what Cuba sells. Uh, uh, the form of his music is is totally different. It's more uh, reggae. Born. He, he grew up listening to his his heart. And this is what he brings to you. And he never gets tired of what he does. This is every day, constant, constant. You could look at every day, seven, eight o'clock in the evening, get on Instagram, Candyman on Instagram, TikTok, and he will give you a live show for free. Gotcha. And speaking about shows and artists, uh, I understand Mr. Candyman is doing a lot of features with different artists. So if any artists are watching right now, link up with one of the greatest in the reggaeton, he could do a feature uh, for you. So like that, uh, you know, you guys could uh, collaborate and we could make uh, great music because music is for everybody. Not for white, blue, green, orange, purple, music is for everybody. So is that uh, exactly what is happening? You guys are starting that's to get a lot of requests for, for, for features. That's, that's what we are doing. If, if you're an artist and you are true, uh, well, we have, uh, what we call, uh, we, we're very particular in who we work with because we have a message to send. We, do, we don't want to be singing uh, vulgarity. Uh, we want to pass mess messages to younger generations who want to come up in the music industry. So with Candyman's talent and his message, who all of these artists, uh, I won't mention any name, but you hear reggaeton, uh, it's, if you listen to the music, it, it, it has a lot to do with the message, not vulgarity, not nudity, message. Yeah. So if the younger artist, the upcoming artist wants to do a fishing with Candyman, just call me up, 305-896-1393, and we could get you an appointment for us to listen to your material, and then we make the decisions of who we want to associate a uh, talent like Candyman in your project. Gotcha. So what is your your wish for the Cuba in the future? Uh, what is your wish for Cuba in the future? La lucha es por siempre. La lucha es por siempre. Este, a lo mejor me muero y no veo a Cuba libre, pero, feel... pero no me voy a rendir porque voy a ser la inspiración para mucha gente. He feels like the fight for Cuba is going to be an everlasting fight. Uh, maybe he won't, in his lifetime, won't see a, 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 what you might say, is a resolution to his fight. But hopefully, uh, we know we have people out there fighting for the country. And uh, we all, as Americans, because I'm American also and I can speak Spanish because I'm from Puerto Rico, but uh, I feel his pain. Uh, Louis C. Rocks feel his pain. Uh, a lot of people in this country feel his pain. But if if you believe in something and you want to fight for something, no matter what, if you don't see any result, you know you in your heart that you're doing your part for your country. Okay. And that's what I love about Mr. Candyman. So Candyman is for real, the, the real Candyman. And he's no joke. He's definitely a serious artist. Thank you again, sir, for coming down to Key West, 90 Thank miles from Cuba. Mr. Tito, Tito been doing it for a million years. And like I said, uh, more video uh, and 
check out more stuff on our channel. Hit the subscribe button right over here. Woo! And this young lady is a new artist that she's doing video today. Yes, uh, well, we have a new artist coming up. Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. Rose. Check her out. you. Gypsy uh, Rose. But when you hear that name, you remember this. Gypsy Rose. Yeah, man. Holla.